All right, Mary, I want to show you your next update video on scooter. Um, this, uh, this video, we're working on sort of the next piece of the puzzle, um, or at least showcasing this next piece of the puzzle. Um, <clears throat> so um, we've really gotten to the stage where we can start to do uh, more than one thing at a time, chew and walk gum. <laughs> chew gum and walk, excuse me. Um, so we have two different types, parts of our training going on. We have sort of our indoor um, formal training, which right now Scooter is going through force fetch. She's doing quite fine with that. I'm very happy with her progress there. Um, no concerns, all that's going fine. But quite frankly, force fetch videos are boring. <laughs> so I wanted to showcase something a little bit more interesting this time around. So with all our, uh, our gun, young gun dogs, which we have several that are this age, we're doing water work or water introduction. So most of our young dogs that are around this age have never really had a lot of experience with the water. Maybe they had a little bit when they were a puppy, but this time of year, it's definitely a time to start getting them in the water. It's warmed up. Um, you know, um, we were in the 70s this week, so now's the time to get dogs exposed to the water. Also, my little training pond right here is very shallow at the moment. Uh, right now, it's, it's lunging water, running water. Um, the dogs can run across it. We're supposed to get a bunch of rain this week. And so this will be deep water, swimming water, uh, probably next week. So the idea is, obviously, we want to introduce water when they can run through it. And then it's a little bit more involved when they have to swim through it. So trying to do it a little bit gradually. Um, and especially, you know, like I said, this is weather sensitive. We do not want to do water introduction when it's cold outside. Um, you know, putting, putting young dogs in cold water is, is not a great idea. We want them to, to be excited about water before they do anything. Hey, where are you going with that? She grabbed herself a bumper and she's running off. She's just such a happy dog. She really is. She's always happy. Hey, Scoot. Hey, look what I got. Look what I got. I got another one. Huh? I got another one. Oh, boy. What's this? What's this? Huh? What's this? So, the whole point of this is to get her to retrieve in the water. Um, and so we do a lot of time just letting the dogs experience the water themselves. We absolutely never force the dog into the water when they're young. Um, this time of year, the water is, like I said, warm enough for a dog. It's not super comfortable for a person. Um, when we have, you know, uh, you know, dogs out here in July, you know, I get in the water with them. Um, but, uh, a little cold for that, at least not without some waders on. So we let her experience it. And then, you know, the dog's out here kind of on doggy recess. This is very informal. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. And we give the bumper a little toss. Nice big splash. Ooh, boy. Best thing ever. So we simply want the dog to be able to experience this and have fun and enjoy it because obviously this is going to be a lot more work later. So the early introductions to water are important to get it right. We do not want the dog. Hey, hey. We do not want the dog to have a negative association with the water. They need to be comfortable so that they can become confident with the water. Because we're going to start asking them to do a lot more with it. Um, and fixing a dog that is water shy is probably the most annoying thing to have to fix in dog training. So we make sure that we have all the dogs feel comfortable going through this splashing water. You know, this is kind of the best thing ever for a lab. Um, generally speaking, most of our dogs don't have any trouble with this because we introduce it slowly, just like introducing gunfire slowly. We want them to have positive exposure, positive experiences with these important environmental changes. Here we go. Woo! As you can see, Scooter has no problem. This is only about, uh, the second or third day we've gone to the water with her, um, and she's having a big time. So. I think we're doing great. Um, these introductions are fine, of course. She's picking everything up, uh, and I'm not, you know, being demanding about making her bring it to me or anything of that sort. That's not what today is about. Today is about water is fun, and Scooter likes the water. <laughs>